Hey y'all, so it is the day after my 13% Platinum Skin Care TCA pill. Um, I just got a shower, washed with a gentle goat's milk soap, uh, facial soap, and I have not put my Aquaphor on yet. I just wanted to show you guys stinking toilet. Um, what my face is looking like before I put anything else on it. Um, I don't see any changes happening yet as far as any peeling goes. Um, maybe a little more redness than usual uh, along there. Which I have rosy cheeks all the time anyway. Um, as far as how it's feeling, it um, feels just like a sunburn. Like, um, you know, your skin gets tight. It feels like when you move your mouth, eyes, and things. Um, that's all I'm feeling at this point, and I will check back in tomorrow on day three. Pill. Let me just put my things back out of the way. Um, I mean, 48 hours, so technically two days, but this is the third day since me doing it, if that makes sense. Um, people say that differently. Um, so, 48 hours, just two days. I'm going to come in close so you can see. Um, there is some crepiness. I, I don't know if that's the right word. Like you can see the lines, like it's going to start peeling. Um, it does feel tighter. I don't know if you can see that. Like, let me pick the button and come in close. I can see some lines there. Nothing yet in these creases of my nose. I really thought I would see something there first since it frosted the way that it did. Um, skin just feels really tight. Not burning or anything like that. Um, it started being a little itchy. Um, I don't know if that'll get worse. I'm sure it will. Uh, I can see that in my neck. There, again, those bruises are from PDO threads. I have a clean washcloth here. I'm just going to uh, I just put water on it. But I'm going to do it again since I was yapping. What I'm going to do is pat my face. You don't, don't want to rub or pull on your skin. I'm just going to get moist. You already know what that is. Now, while my skin is damp, I'm going to go in with the Aquaphor. And guys, it just takes a, a little bit of this, goes a long way. While my skin is damp, I'm going to put this on to seal in that moisture. And there's my hair. I do shed quite a bit. Was better already with the itch. Um, and I've seen a video where some people use cortisone 10 for the itch. The itch is not that, that bad for me as of yet. If it does get to where um, I just want to like claw my skin off. I may consider using that. But as of right now, I'm going to stick with the Aquaphor and I'm still using just the same um, gentle, moisturizing goat's milk facial cleanser. Okay, so there's where we're at. Day 2, 48 hours. See you guys tomorrow. Hey y'all, this is day three since my 13% Platinum Skin Care TCA pill. And peeling has started. It's just in a few places. As you can see here, here, there. Start 
a little bit of flaking right there. Um, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but you can see right there like that. It just looks dry. Excuse me. So I imagine the rest will start peeling probably tomorrow, hopefully. Um, steel just feels tight like a uh, sunburn um, and it almost feels like I have something on my face like a, um, if you've ever done an egg white mask on your face or used the stuff that you can buy that like temporarily tightens your skin um, kind of feels like that so and uh, very itchy it's been hard for me to keep my hands off my face today and when it's gotten to um, the point that I just had to have something, <laughs> some kind of relief, I would wash my hands and just press on the spots that were itching and just kind of like, do like that. You don't want to drag or pull or obviously scratch your skin. So, right. day three, see you tomorrow. This is day four, post. TCA peel. I just got out of the shower, cleansed with the goat's milk soap that I've been using. And oh, I've not put anything else on my face. I'm going to try to come in as close as I can and uh, show you guys the situation, or the progress, where we're at. I hope it's picking up. I'll try to, um, I won't try, I will insert some pictures to show you guys too after this clip. I don't know if you could tell, but the skin is like pulling right there. I'm thinking, I'm assuming that's going to peel. It's doing the same thing on my forehead, right here on the crow's feet, a lot of flaking on the chin, nothing on my neck so far. And I, oh yeah, no. Take that back it's pulling right there too the same way it is here um it's not as itchy today which i thought was a little odd because i just kind of thought that the more that i started to peel the more i would itch but i don't know if it, it just wasn't as itchy or if i was just busy and didn't notice i, I don't know but it doesn't seem to be as itchy today but I did use this today. I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not. Um, there's what it don't have in it. So I'll just let you guys look at that because I, okay, I can't see that. So I'm going to put on my Aqua 4 as I have since day one, and I'll check back in with you guys on day five tomorrow. <laughs> Post 13% TCA peel from Platinum Skincare. I don't know why I feel the need to say all that with each clip, but I'm not starting this over. Um, I just got out of the shower about 15 minutes ago, washed my face with the same good milk soap that I've been using, and I'm about to put on some Aqua 4. Um, I had to go somewhere today and take care of something, so I used a sunscreen. I used my granddaughter's Hello Bello or something like that. Uh, yeah, mineral sunscreen. It left a white cast, but I just went with it. I mean, it wasn't like nowhere major. I was going. It was one stop in and out, so it, it was fine. Like I, I really didn't care, to be honest. But I'm gonna come in close so you can see what is happening. The peeling is starting here. And the skin is feeling tighter, looking uh, older, <laughs> which is part of the process. Um, no major peeling here, just a lot of flaking. Um, creases in my nose still looks the same. That well, 
that's peeling up pretty good and y'all yeah, it's it's so hard not to pick at this especially when it's itchy and like when i my hands are clean by the way i'll do this when it's itching and just gently but then like if i feel it if i do it right there and i feel that it it takes everything in me not to just you know but i'm done good so far um i was hoping and you can see it starting to peel here like up and peel i was really hoping to have more peeling happening at this point um because i have to go out of town what is today tomorrow I'm going out of town tomorrow um I really should have planned this better to where I wasn't going to be like in the midst of all this peeling while going out of town because I'm going to be outside. So I'm sunscreen, 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 sunglasses. I'm taking a hat. Um, and the reason that I, I say I should have planned it better is because it is my first time doing this. And I just kind of went by what everybody else said and their experiences, which you should never do um, because everybody's different and everything is going to affect everybody different. So my peeling process is not taking place as quickly as a lot of the others that I've seen. Um, and it's best not to do anything to rush it at this point. Now there is some things that you can get uh, to kind of speed up the process to use like right after um it's another mask appeal from platinum skincare stacy from gorgeously aging advanced uh, use uses it and um i didn't do that so i feel like you know i'm already on day five i'm just going to let it do its thing naturally and let this thing play out um also my neck is cracking and peeling. Um, I'm probably going to get some strange looks when I go to Tennessee tomorrow for the weekend, but it's okay. Okay, so I will check in tomorrow um, from the RV. <laughs> I was expecting it to come off in sheets like I've seen in some videos. Sorry, that's my husband talking to the baby. Um, just some flaking like everywhere. Here. Here. I hope this is, you can see this. Be back. Hey y'all, this is day eight after 13% TCA peel. Still just, skin's just falling off, uh, flaking off. And sorry about all of that is going on still, just in different places. I didn't have like my skin like falling off and peeling off in sheets how I imagined it would happen so um instead of any more daily updates I'm just going to come back in with the final update once all this flaking and peeling and everything has stopped and healed um and give you my final thoughts then hey y'all so this is 
day, nine days after I did the TCA pill from Platinum Skincare, 13%. I don't know why I keep feeling the need to announce that because this is all going to be in the same video, so pardon me. Um, but I'm going to do this antioxidant enzyme mask that came with my pill. Sorry, I was trying to read. I just can't see. Um, I'm really thinking about LASIK surgery. It says apply when dry, rinse well. And that's all the instructions it gives. It doesn't say that I'm supposed to wait a certain amount of days. It smells good. It's just a small container. I'm going to go ahead. Feels like other clay masks that I've used and ones that I have um, actually made myself with bentonite clay and activated charcoal. <coughs> so I'll put this on and see how it feels after the fact. And after I give this a little while. Um, since doing the TCA, I don't want to do too much, too close together. I really need to look into something to address these dark circles that I have developed under my eyes. And I had a mole removed here. I posted a video of that, it actually being done and, and all that. Um, it's like dark right there and that's where the mole was it's darker even than than this side i don't know maybe it always was and i just didn't notice it because of the mole who knows um but i just i feel like that in combination of how pale i am or fair skin uh and that's nothing against fair skin i mean obviously because i am but I have used tanning beds and laid out in the sun for, God, ever, most of my life. And even though I've not used a tanning bed in a few years, I'm still not used to seeing myself in my natural fair-skinned state. So when I see myself, I feel like I look sick. Um, and then you add in dark circles on top of that. And then loose skin from weight loss. Um, and it's just not a way that I'm used to seeing myself. So hopefully that'll change because I, I'm not going to go and get another tanning bed. Um, yeah, it was it was so bad that um, I was addicted to. I don't want to know if addicted is the right word. Um, I just really felt a lot better about about myself, I guess you could say. Um, when I was tanned, I felt, yeah. well, yeah, I guess that is the right thing to say. It felt better to be tanned. Um, I enjoyed having a tan. I liked laying in the tanning bed because it was relaxing. I would get in there and take a nap, and it just, I don't know, it was soothing to me for whatever reason, but, um, I'm not going to purchase one again, and um, I'm actually testing out sunscreens now because we have a pool. I do enjoy being outside, but it's not worth the risks. Um, there's some, you know, hereditary things in my family with cancers, different kinds of cancers. I've had to scare myself, um, and it's just not worth it. I use self-tanners now and apply sunscreen every day, whether I'm going outside or not, or whether I think I'm going outside or not, I just go ahead and put it on in the mornings because, you know, maybe I might decide to, you know, go somewhere last minute and forget the sunscreen. I just, so I just go ahead and apply it on my, you know, my morning when I wash my face or rinse my face. I don't use any face wash or anything in the morning, but I do just rinse my face with cold water. Um, to kind of wake myself up, but uh, I just go ahead and do that. And on the backs of my hands, chest, neck, 
um, in the summertime, if I'm out by the pool, I will apply it all over when I go out to the pool, but I don't just apply it to my face or to my legs and things like I do my face and hands and neck. So that's something that I probably should do, but yeah, I just, um, I guess I just need to get used to the new me. I still see myself, um, overweight which according to the BMI scale chart I am still overweight but I still see myself as the person before VSG surgery um I haven't even you know still don't buy the right size clothing for my body now I'm just so used to buying bigger sizes and um, wanting things to be oversized, which I, I am more comfortable in oversized clothes. Don't get me wrong. Um, I can't stand nothing constricting on me, but uh, too oversized is, is what I'm, I'm doing. So, I don't know. I'm going to work on all that. But in the meantime, I'm going to let this enzyme mask dry for a few minutes and um, see if it really makes any difference. Skin feels nice. Now I'm going to use this facial mist by Palmer's. I really think this has helped with um, to minimize itching for me. It's just going to spray. Now I'll let that completely dry, and then I'll put on some Aquaphor. Um, I know a lot of people don't let anything moisturizing or, no, it's not the right word. Their hydrators completely dry or even water. Some people will splash water on the face and then put something like Aquaphor on to kind of lock in that moisture. But I tried that with this um, the first day that I, I used this. And it turned the Aquaphor into like this creamy, ooey, gooey mess. So... Um, I won't do that again. So I'm going to let that dry. Put on some lip balm and some Aquaphor. And I will check back in a couple of days. But it'll be just a, just a second for y'all um, with my final thoughts. Will I do this again? Was it worth it? And all that. Hey y'all. Um, so I just wanted to wrap up this video really quick. Um, I still have a little flaking just on the lower parts of my chin and um, parts of my face that did peel and are finished flaking feels amazing uh, very smooth um, soft will I do it again and was it worth it to me it was worth it to do just so that I know now what to expect from a TCA pill. Will I do it again? Yes. But I think I will go up um, from the 13%. I'm not sure what the next one is, but I'll pop it on the screen. And also, um, at the end of the video, I'll put on the screen um, the website what I paid and this is why also that I just got the single smallest um, little container vial of TCA because I didn't know what to expect didn't know if it was something that I was going to want to do again and all of that um, and when I jump up to the next percentage which I think might be 17% if not I will correct myself on the screen um, I'll do the same thing with the 17% and see how I like that and if I'm comfortable with that and if I get more of a pill like what I wanted to see, um, I want it to see like the sheets of my face, you know, my face falling off in sheets, I guess you could say. But once that happens and I experience that, I may not want that to be happening so 
that is why I'm just going to get the small jar or bottle of the next percentage up just to see before I spend more money. It's not very expensive even if you do buy um, like the bigger bottle, but still, if it's something that I spend even a little more money on and don't like it, I've wasted that money. And I have product laying around that I probably wouldn't use. So, there's my take on that. That is my thoughts on my first TCA pill. Also, just going to throw this in and something for you to be looking out for. I think I'm going to try it on my stomach for the stretch marks. I did have a tummy tuck. But if you know anything about tummy tucks, you will know that it doesn't always get rid of all the stretch marks. It really depends on what your stretch marks were like prior to surgery. Mine were really bad, really deep, and really high up. So I still have them, and um, to me, they still look bad. Um, so I might try that. Not that I'm going around, you know, like in belly shirts, crop tops, and all that, but just just for me, you know what I mean? Um, so, be watching for that, and that's probably going to happen because even though it's, it's, you know, we're on the edge of summer here happening, like I said, my, my belly never gets any sun exposure anyway, so I think that'll be fine. Um, so, as far as, since I said that, let me say this. The next time I do a TCA pill, it will be in the winter. Just because we are active people always outside. We're always camping on the boat, out at the pool with the kids. Um, just always outside doing something. And so it won't be soon that I do the 17%, try the 17% on my face. But I do plan to try it on my stomach soon. So, yeah, I said all that. I probably could have shortened that a lot, but there it is. But, okay, thank you for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and... Oh, I got weird because that clicked off. Um, I'm sitting in front of my computer. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would go ahead and do that. Click that bell so you'll be notified every time I upload something. Um, I'm currently... Excuse me. Reviewing some different self-tanners. Um, about to wrap that up, so if that's something that you are interested in, uh, stay tuned for that, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, I hope everybody's well. Okay, right now I don't have any makeup on except for, um, a little something in my brows and mascara. The only thing I have on is some sunscreen. Is what my face is looking like after the 13% platinum scare platinum scare platinum skincare 13% TCA pill <laughs>